One easy transformation we can do is a circular reveal. We'll cover other elements of meaningful motion in more detail later in the course, so let's consider this a preview. In this app, clicking one of the recycler view items will kick off a circular reveal transition to new item text. The circular reveal effect is used a lot in material design and ties in nicely with ripples. So let's talk a little bit about how we're going to make this circular reveal. This is the signature of the create circular reveal function. The view we're going to operate on, a center x and y to start the uh, transition, a start radius, and an ending radius. So let's say this is the view group holding the text we want to change. First, we need to find the center point of our reveal. We can do that by taking the item's width and height and dividing in half. The reveal should start from nothing, so our starting radius is zero. You might remember from geometry class that the diameter is a line segment that passes through the center and whose endpoints lie on the circle. The radius is half of the diameter. So if we fit our item to a circle and situate the center points here to line up, our ending radius would be about from here to here, or a little bit more than half the width of the item. One reason why it would be a little bit more is just because if it's a square item, it's not going to perfectly align with a circle, so you would need to adjust that. So now we have all the pieces we need to create a circular reveal. As I mentioned before, you couldn't just use half of the width of the item. You actually need to use the hypotenuse of half the width and half the height. And here are all the components of the create circular reveal function that create our animator. After that set, we change the text and the title along with the background color. Lastly, we start the animation.